Hey guys and girls, it's K7. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build Ohana 3DS Rebirth. The steps are pretty easy, but you're going to need a little bit of technical know-how to do this because this is pretty much what it looks like on the developer's side of things when building a program. So it takes a little bit of technical know-how to do so. Today we'll be building the Ohana 3DS Bleeding Edge version of Ohana 3DS. Now the steps are pretty easy and pretty simple to do and the only thing you'll need to do is follow along with this tutorial. So sit back and relax. Keep watching. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Ohana 3DS Rebirth. You can find it down in the links in the description. There you'll be able to download it. So go down there and download those files. Once you get the RAR file, you'll need to extract it. So you'll also need Renoir, which I'll also leave down in the links in the description. Once you have Renoir and you have your file, then you need to click on it and then click extract here or wherever you'd like to extract it. Once you extract it, you'll get a folder that's just like mine that you can see here on the desktop. And as you can see, it has the same name as the RAR Ohana 3DS Rebirth. What you will want to do is open up this Ohana 3DS Rebirth. Now, before proceeding, you're going to need a program that you should or should I say may or may not have on your computer. You're going to need Microsoft Visuals C++ 2015. You can get this from Microsoft for free. And if you're a Citra emulator user, you should probably already have this on your computer. You just may need to create a Microsoft account to use it. But once you figure that out, you can then open the folder. Open the folder and then go up to the top right hand corner into your search box. And then you're going to type in Ohana 3DS dot SLN. And this will bring up the main file that you'll need to open up with the Microsoft Visuals C++ 2015. If it doesn't pop up, make sure you've typed it in correctly and make sure that you spelled everything correctly as well. Once it pops up, you're going to click on it. Once you click on it, Microsoft Visual Studios should open. And here you won't see anything. You may get a message in the beginning or you may not, but if you do, you can ignore the message, just close it or something and don't worry about it. But once it opens, you'll see a few options near the top you'll see your regular toolbar and then you'll see some other things you can adjust within this program. But what we're going to be focusing on is the little drop down boxes just below debug and build. As you can see here, it's right next to CPU. It should say debug. You're going to click this little drop down box that you can see here and change it to release. Now you're going to go up to the top and then you're going to click on build. And now you're going to scroll down to build Ohana 3DS Rebirth. After you do this, you're pretty much done. Allow Visual Studios to do its thing. Once it's finished, you'll get a confirmation notice down at the bottom letting you know that the compiler has built your program and now you'll be able to use it. You can now close Visual Studios. You can now go to the Ohana 3DS folder that you extracted earlier. So what you want to do now is go into the very most top folder at the top, which you can see here, Ohana 3DS. You're going to go into the bin folder, time 86, and if you have a debug folder, you're going to ignore that folder. You're going to go into your release folder. Or better yet, just take your release folder and remove it from this folder, place it on the desktop, and rename it Ohana 3DS Rebirth because this is your newly built program. 
you now want to locate the Ohana 3DS EXE. Double click on it and there you have it. You've just now successfully built your very first program and it happens to be Ohana 3DS. If you're familiar with Ohana, the original one, this one will allow you to be able to look at 3D models from within GBA titles like Pokemon or Poke Animals as I call it. But this is a pretty cool program and I like using it. Sometimes it may have some issues, but it's a work in progress. Well anyway, that pretty much wraps up things for this tutorial. I hope you all have enjoyed it and I hope you all also have learned something from this tutorial as well. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those comments down in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to them when I can and also answer them if I'm available. Also leave a like if you like and also you can leave a dislike if you'd like as well. Also, let me know if you guys and girls would like me to bring you more tutorials like these showing you how to do stuff that you probably most likely wouldn't find on the internet anywhere else. So just drop those lines down in the comment section and let me know. Well anyways, make sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace. Enjoy using Ohana 3DS Rebirth. See you guys next time. Later.